Right, nice little cheeky video for you on the uh, CRF 300 Rally um, brakes. So if you go green laning or just normal road grime, especially with it being winter, you can um, you, you need to rely on these uh, these brakes. They're perfectly adequate, I find, but um, they need to be working optimally and really useful. Um, maintenance tip that I've been given is to strip your caliper down not to its component parts but to um, to somewhere near and give it the once over and I've got some uh, handy little tips quite an enjoyable job if you like tinkering so first one you want an eight millimeter and obviously showing off brought out the walkie-talkie and you've got your um, your pin at the bottom so break that off first probably use a probably use a, a little ratchet first just make sure that's free and then you want to move to a yeah uh, this is a 12 12 millimeter um for your uh, stanchion retainers These are beyond. I think those will be a lot tighter on. There we go, and we're free. So, um, so with the with the pin out, you can release the pads. Of course, you uh, if you've done a bit of miles, you might be looking at um, pushing those back for the moment. A um, little bit of wear on the pin. Once cleaning up, I have already cleaned that. Committed the YouTube crime. So pads um, and backplate. Now this is a washed up caliper that I've done before I thought this is a good idea for a video. But these got a thoroughly good wash, cleaned out all the grooves in the um, in the pad. I mean, all right, we're not doing a track day, but they're as good as new. And from now on, New Year's resolution, that's the way I'm doing it. And I can heartily recommend it. So I'm going to bring in... Uh, Prop number one, you need, a, you need a friend who enjoys specially selected Marshmallow Brownie Bomb Mini Bites. This was really handy. Unfortunately, it was empty. And uh, possibly the same brand might have terrible oral hygiene. So, with muck off, um, half a tub of warm water, get said caliper into the tub, give it a swish back out I use a baking tray underneath it or a bucket depending on the angle that your bike's at and get in there and clean it properly I've popped the little um, I popped the little plate out in the bottom made sure it went back in the right way I have taken off these retainers once take them off again um, for the purposes of everyone being able to see so there's grease on those by the way um, give it a right good clean in there um, so it's literally um, like new. It's uh, I mean, it's not old anyway, but it's it's very easy to get it back with a bit of soap and water back down to very very clean indeed. Um, and then gently and carefully, what I'm going to do now is pop out the pistons. They need to come out at the same rate. I'm not going to pop them right out, obviously. That would be a a spectacular video so just so I've got a bit of um, a bit of it. I don't know why the fruity stuff so in um, and my weapon of choice will be another of Aldi's finest the GT85 so a nice good um, a nice good dose in the GC85 and then back in there with now I'm going to use um, somebody else's toothbrush with better oral hygiene of course don't use your own that would leave a, a nice smell but a terrible taste um, get in there clean off your um, clean off your pistons again and just work this um, wonderful liquid into every part of your caliper uh, you can thank me later now 
some might say oh don't let that stuff near your uh, near your brakes because it will get down into the seals and it will do terrible damage and you know what I'd say to those people is um, you heard it on YouTube and you know I've been doing this two weeks um, nothing's gone wrong yet so you know make your own mind up um, so as you can see coming along nicely um, um, try and get in down the back if you've got any garbage on your pistons of course you want to be cleaning that off and, uh, and carefully I um, then give it a right good wipe get the pistons back in so this is the devil's own work if you've got four pots it should be a bit easier I did this job the other day on my Africa twin and it was uh, these were quite difficult to um, get in and out on the four pots just cleaning them but not obviously giving them the old douse with the WD or the GT85 the wheel would only spin in the air say a quarter of a turn having just cleaned the bike once I took the calipers off and gave it a right good seam to um, get a couple of turns from spinning the wheel with the same ferocity if you like so uh, big big advantages to be gained by um, doing this procedure so I'm happy with that what I usually what I usually do is uh, then just give it another little dusting um, and with a clean set of hands obviously then once you've the other little job let me dirty rag you dirty rag um, clean these off and uh, reapply white grease obviously these are your uh, uh, retainers which will provide the pressure to push against the uh, pads and get them back off the disc I'm going to pause us there so I've got the old white grease and let's mention that a normal um, normal paintbrush is what I usually go in with first to uh, to work in the um, obviously the muck off showing off got some muck off um, where are we what do we have with it so everything's lovely and clean I wouldn't overdo this but um, get it on the end I can almost feel it breaking harder than it does you know it's um there's times when i've had uh, the same bike as one of my friends and we've ended up on each other's bikes for whatever reason color blindness will do that to you and there's a visible difference in the brake effect of a bike that's got um, good brakes in good order and it's uh i i'm really uh, i'm a big convert it's um and of course it's all won and lost on the brakes isn't it especially on a cbr CR, crf 300 um, am i in the wrong ones here oh there we go we're on not a fiddly job not by any stretch there we go and when they go back on there's um that rubber's got to get over that lip you can see there's a lip there I'm going to wipe the excess grease off. Oh, where's the nice clean tissue? Um, that's going to attract every bit of dirt in his dog. Um, the ultimate YouTube crime. And fiddle with it away from the camera. So with my... Um, especially silicon free hands I'm going to get the pads back in so again you can see from the pad markings witness marks that one in first sits in a little um, 
groove on its backing plate. Um, I'm not going to grease them, I'm not going to judge anybody who does. And again, those are on there because they're nice and clean and they're going to have to come apart quite frequently with these because uh, do do a little bit of green lighting. Oh, you monkey. Um, and what I am going to do, I am going to, personal choice this, but I am going to do a little bit of white grease on the uh, on the retaining pin. Now I've put the tub away. I've not got enough hands. Because that's how the job goes. Only a smidgen mind. Not too much. Um, again, it's up to you. It's uh, Mr. Andre would say there's no need. He knows best, but I listen. I'm on YouTube and I've been doing it two weeks. So um, yeah, and the, you'll notice a difference, you know, like get your front wheel up in the air, give the wheel a spin, and um, things will bit there's a bit too much on there, I might wipe that off in a minute, but the purpose of this, I'll, uh, I'll tighten that up when it's back in, make sure you've got your grease off your hands, and your big install, get the Milwaukee back on it, there we are. Nice wavy discs on these. Um, I found the brakes to be pretty good actually. I mean, they're not um, going to be breaking our ones, but for what they are, I really like them. They're, uh, I do find I have to use them together, the back brake and the front brake, that is. And uh, there is a significant improvement if you, I know. A lot of people, a lot of bikers get out of the habit of using the back brake, but I found it uh, makes all the difference. So tighten us up, pump your uh, pump your lever back up gently, and uh, spin your wheel, and you're ready to go. Hope that helps.